Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Rachel. Um, a lot of my videos are about thrifting and sometimes thrifting to keep and sometimes thrifting to resell because I do resell on Poshmark and eBay. The majority of what I'm gonna show you today is uh, to resell. Um, I actually don't know if anything in here is to keep. So I'm gonna show you some money-making items that I don't know about your neck of the woods, but here, these things are plentiful. And I'm gonna show you um, what to look for, what to pick up to resell. So uh, it's gonna be a short video. There's a lot of stuff to cover here. I'm gonna cover as much of it as I can. And um, let's get straight into it, because that's why you're here, right? The first item that I picked up thrift to resell is this vintage cross stitch pillow. You can see it's missing a few stitches here and there. On the back is corduroy and it has a metal zipper. When you're thrifting items, if you want to try to date the item and make sure that it's not just, it doesn't just look vintage, look for details like metal zippers. This is a super cool pillow. I think I have this listed for 35 or $38. Let's see if I can get, hopefully that. That's over on my Poshmark and my eBay. Vintage children's clothing. I love to resell vintage children's clothing. Um, this is made in America. The brand is Cottontail Originals. This cute little denim jumper. Um, it's actually 50% linen, 50% cotton. So when you're sourcing vintage items, you can always uh, look at the content of the fabric and that's sometimes an, another really good giveaway. You can look for paper tags, things of that nature. So um, this is getting listed. I have a really cool vintage pillowcase. Beautiful pillowcase. Had there been two of these, I might have kept this for my own bed. You can see that it is a um, hand embroidered detail. I want to say this is going up for like $15 and you know, I paid like a quarter for it. So not a huge money maker, but a money maker nonetheless. So um, anything hand embroidered, I feel like has a really good market. Um, let's see, no particular order on this. Oh. I love, love, love to thrift vintage denim. It's one of my absolute favorite things. It's one of my favorite things to wear. And this is by far the coolest vintage denim that I've ever, ever thrifted. These are very high-waisted, as you can tell. They're also very tiny. And these are vintage Wrangler. That's probably backwards. Maybe it's gonna focus. Bell bottoms, you guys. Look at these. I'm sorry that you can't see more of these. I'll try to show you here. This is the flare, there we go. These are so cool. I paid $2 for these. Really, really cool. So I'll probably um, be listing these somewhere between 60 and $70 and we'll see what happens. Um, I found this jacket full of patches. I love, love, love looking for patches on vintage clothing. I think that that type of thing sells really well. I think people are looking for it. It says Missouri Camper Award and it's a coachman. Can you see that? Coachman, um, satiny style. So keywords here might be like coach, um, coachman, uh, like a coach's jacket, you know, um, satin. It's, this isn't satin, but um, like a vinyl. I hope to, to get some good money off of that one. This is a handmade vintage dress. Let me show you here some of this detail. Lace, again, a metal zipper. And this zipper, um, this uh, I don't know what that brand is on there. This skirt, look at this. Full circle, which is a really good keyword to use in your descriptions, a full circle skirt. So if I were to pull the fabric out completely, this would make a full circle. This actually fits me, and I think that is like a square dancing style dress. It's so pretty, you guys. So i um, not keeping this because I just don't have anywhere to wear it, but look at that skirt. That's a cool item. I don't know. I may only get like $20 or $30 for it, but I paid a couple dollars for it. This is, the brand is Tooltex. It is made in the USA, 50% cotton, 50% polyester. So it's that 50-50 blend that a lot of people look for. Can you see that? Okay. Um, and it has a wolf on it. This shirt is so, so cool. Look at this. It says gray wolf and another telltale that this one's vintage. Um, well, it says sunrise sportswear here. Sometimes you can see a date actually right there. Um, you will notice the inside of these 50-50 sweatshirts feels a lot different. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to list this at, but definitely a cool piece. Um, the wolf shirts and vintage sweaters are definitely like a streetwear vibe right now. 
This is 90% cotton, 10% polyester. Kids Jinko shirt. I just couldn't leave it. Jinko, definitely really cool. Um, it's kids, so I doubt I'll even get 20 bucks for that. Um, this is jerseys made in the USA. I always pick up jerseys made in America. Look at this. This is one of those things, you guys, that is just quirky enough. Someone's going to love this. And it's about my size. So I'll probably model this when I post it maybe over on Poshmark. I've been thinking about getting onto Depop also. Tell me in the comments if you um, list on Depop and if it's worth it. Uh, this is another jerseys made in America, size large, men's tank top, 100% cotton. So that's kind of a cool vintage piece. Um, this shirt says, created to worship. So I don't know if this one is totally, it says knit in USA, assembled in El Salvador, pre-shrunk. It's not single stitch. It's got some bleach detail. So I might have more bleach detail because like religious or Jesus style um, t-shirts that are vintage are really going well right now. This little wallet, um, if you see any fine leather goods, definitely walk to that side of the store and check this out because um, the store that I'm at definitely prices up their coach and they missed this one. It says coach here. So this is a vintage coach kiss lock wallet, unlined leather on the inside here. I paid $3 for this and probably get around 30 to $35 for it. This cool hat I picked up at a yard sale, actually. It is beaded. Um, I'll use words like beaded, Navajo, um, Indian style, um, keywords like that in this. This is kind of small, um, or my head's big. I don't know, maybe both. It says Light Felt as the brand. And um, I've been picking up a lot of vintage belts lately. I got this red leather braided belt. These seem to be going about $15, $20 right now if you find um, colored braided leather belts. Look at this belt. How cool is this? It's super cool. That's how cool. Um, but it's broken here on the end, so I'm just going to disclose that it needs another one of these loops. Uh, but this is definitely a cool piece. My mom had a piece very similar to this when I was a kid, and I just wasn't going to leave it there. Um, going along with women's accessories, show you this super cool beaded wooden bag. I listed this with keywords boho, hippie, 70s, things like that. Really just a cool beaded, wooden beaded bag. Um, this piece was a little bit of a shocker. I picked it up because logos and brands um, are really big right now, but I didn't expect this to be worth quite as much as it ended up worth. Um, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Bud, King of Beers. I found one finally after scouring eBay. I found one that sold for $120. This is super cute. This item you might not think is worth a whole lot, just this red t-shirt, but this is single stitch. And when I say sting, single stitch, guys, just one thread line that runs through here. Made in the USA, Fruit of the Loom. So I'm listing this at $45, and we're going to see what happens. I will come back and tell you if that shirt, if that t-shirt sells for $45. Look at this cool vintage hoodie. This is super cool. Now, this is a kid's extra large. I am about a size 8, 10, and so I modeled this, and I'm going to include that so that people know that this could definitely fit an adult. An adult small, yeah, it would fit really well. It's a little tight on me, but um, and it says, you know, it's got Nike Air down the arm, so I'll use words like spell out. Speaking of spell out, now that's when, like, the logo is really big or spelled out on the garment. Look at this. Vintage. I finally found the keyword I was looking for for this sweater pullover hockey jersey tommy had a line of hockey jerseys um you know like that style so that's definitely what i will use or what i use i'm asking i listed this at 69 dollars, so i paid i think no i paid like 10 dollars for this um it has tommy patches on the sleeves so i'll use flag logo spell out things like that i have some more kids vintage here these cute little, if you find vintage Oshkosh, that always goes well. I only have these listed for somewhere like $19.99 with free shipping, I think. But they are just so adorable. So a lot of my vintage kids clothing um, ends up going to Japanese buyers. So global shipping provider on that one is definitely important. Um, I found this sweater and I'm in debate about whether or not it's a men's or women's. It says extra large, so I really think that it, it may be a women's. Um, slouchy neck, 
cardigan. Um, I'll use keywords like cardigan, grandpa, Mr. Rogers, um, you know, things like this. Uh, it's super, super cute though, you guys. The brand on this one is Brent. But it being an extra large, it fits me pretty well. So I don't think that it's men's, but sometimes the men's sizing is really, really small on vintage clothing. It's cute, huh? All right. Um, last couple things I want to show you before my camera totally fills up. These, um, well, those aren't vintage. I'm not even going to include those, but I am going to include these. More kids, vintage these are Lee maybe, or I had a pair that were Lee. These ones actually have some spots, some staining that I'm going to have to get out. But look at these darling little overalls. Aren't these so cute? So I picked those up. I picked up this shirt because, again, it's best fruit of the loom, made in the USA. And we go back to the sleeve and it's single stitch. But you guys, this is like someone's family tree, maybe from a reunion or something. Um... I got to show you this cool Looney Tunes jersey that I picked up, a baseball style jersey. That's vintage made in America. And the last thing I have to show you guys, I have to tell you the story real quick before the video is over. Um, I'm at this yard sale. I see this really cool hat. I don't know. Is it vintage? Is it not? I'm walking over talking to the lady and she starts telling me as I'm picking up this hat. Um, my husband said he paid $180 for that hat. He wants 50, it's not gonna happen, I'll take 10. And at the time that she says 10, I turn it over and see it says Stetson. And I've learned one thing from other resellers about Stetson, the more X's the better. And it says it's got four X's here. This thing is enormous, enormous. Very Rooster Cogburn. That needs to be the screenshot for this video. I'm just gonna pause and take a, take a cover photo. <laughs> look at this huge hat so I could not give her ten dollars fast enough and I'm hoping to get a little over two hundred dollars for this so what did you find that was a really cool vintage what of these items would you have looked right over um, leave me a comment below like this video share this video with someone so I can reach my goal for the end of the year to get my channel monetized again so um, God bless you guys as always and thank you so much for watching